Hello, Sacha. So glad that we could do this call. Uh, go ahead, just introduce yourself. Talk a little bit about what you do as a freelancer, as a consultant. Hi, my name is Satya. I'm based in Singapore. Uh, I work with tech startups as a marketing consultant um, and a copywriter. Uh, I've been doing this for about a year now, and it's been going great. Uh, but uh, I think my business has gone to the next level with GoTo Freelancer, and I'm super excited to sh share more about it. All right, Satya. Well, I appreciate it. So when you first came across uh, Become the GoTo Freelancer, the course, um, how did you know that it was for you and, and for your business with where you were at? Right. Uh, so when I started go, uh, the Become the Go-To Freelancer course, I was uh, working mostly with startups in Singapore. So I was only working with companies which are already in my networks because I've been a part of the startup community here for about three, four years now. So I was getting a lot of uh, clients through the, my friends who were just passing projects along or just companies that I would meet in the community itself um, at that stage. But I was reaching that point where I wanted to re, uh, reach more clients who were outside of Singapore, and I didn't have any structured system to get uh, to get there. And so I had tried a few other courses around uh, becoming uh, or learning how to freelance properly because, you know, contrary to popular belief, people don't, don't just wake up in the morning one day and become a freelancer and become like a six-figure freelancer out of the blue, right? You kind of need a strategy and a system. So I tried a bunch of other courses, but I found that either they were very outdated in terms of content, like they were recommending Upwork or Craigslist or all of these <laughs> platforms which don't really work. Uh, yeah. Or they were just, you know, randomly saying, oh, you know, here are a few random tax tactics that you can try, but there was no yeah. structured system. Uh, so when I came across uh, the uh, G2F course, what I recognized was that the, the Joshua, you came with a deep understanding of the fact that freelancers really need one on one support to figure this out and not just around what they are offering as a service, but also around how to close the deal, how to write proposals, how to reach people or reach clients in a way that's non sleazy non scammy and also in a place where they don't you're not constantly facing competition everywhere right so yeah i, I when i came across g2f i was like holy shit this is everything that i'm, I'm looking for and more because yes. i wanted to reach clients who are outside of singapore and really scale my business and not just be stuck with uh, working with clients in singapore um and it comes with all the action-packed strategies and techniques mm. and tips to get there so yeah as soon as like I, like you probably know as soon as i read your sales page i was like i'm so like I, I reached out to you and I was like, I really want to get my hands on it. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm so glad I purchased it. But yeah, I, it was very clear that G2F was the right course for me uh, right from the get-go. Awesome. Well, I, I'm so, so glad to hear that now. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, when you, when you first joined, you're starting that first lesson there, you're watching the, the kind of the orientation uh, video about getting started. Um, mm -hmm. When you're in that, that mindset, what were you really hoping to get out of the program and then how did that it, it prove that it actually offered what you were hoping for? Right. Uh, so, yeah, like I mentioned before, like uh, the big thing for me was I wanted to work with more clients outside of Singapore because I want to be location independent eventually. I really like living here. It's a great city, but I want to be uh, more mobile and be able to spend time with my friends and my family and all of that. So reaching clients outside of Singapore was very important to me. Uh, and it was great that I could see that there were exact strategies which I'd never heard of anywhere before <laughs> honestly speaking but which would help me reach clients outside of Singapore so that was very exciting for me the other thing that was uh, really important is I wanted to niche down my offerings and still get clients consistently right because a lot of the times what happens is as a freelancer especially if you're like a marketing consultant or a copywriter there are just so many potential things you can do so oh, you exactly. can mm -hmm. you could be doing Facebook ads, you could be doing web copy, you could be doing brochures, you could be doing like sales pages. There are just so many different things you can do. So a lot of the times when you work with a client and they really like you, they're just like, oh my God, can you do like a million and one things for me? And as a freelancer, yes, of course, that's flattering for a little while and you're excited to do it. But then after a while, you're like constantly wearing so many hats that you get a little bit tired of it, or at least I got a little bit tired of it, to be honest. So um, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to niche down my offerings and still get clients consistently. And o obviously, I wanted to really increase my rates and also disassoci disassociate uh, the number of hours I was working with the amount of money I was earning. Because uh, that's really important to me as well. Because like when I first joined your course, uh, when we spoke about it, I was already charging more than $100 an hour. But I wanted to charge more. And I know that charging over $100 uh, an hour is already a quite an advanced stage oh, in yes. any freelancer's career and I know I was there for a while but I really want to reach the point where I was able to charge more and potentially work less and also increase my pricing with like more confidence and not worry about whether my clients can afford it or not or whether they see the value in it or not yeah 
Gotcha. So how is that? How has that panned out for you? Like you know, niching down, um, increasing your hourly rate, and getting clients just beyond that the local context. How has that gone for you? Oh, it's it's gone really well. So uh, using one of the uh, strategies from uh, G2F, I actually got uh, a few referral partners in Hong Kong, and they've been sending me more clients who are based in Hong Kong, and it's excellent because um, in Asia, I don't know if ma many of your viewers are uh, from Asia, but if they are. Uh, the most other cities in Southeast Asia or like India or Central Asia, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, the freelancers are not really paid too well because labor is quite cheap. So as, especially in the Asian context or the uh, Asia Pac context, um, Australia, Singapore and Hong Kong are probably the highest paying markets in terms of being a freelancer. So I've been getting referral partners who are based in Hong Kong and in, uh, in Australia as well, apart from the ones in Singapore. So I can attract uh, clients who are willing to pay top dollar for all of my services. So that's been going really well. I've been uh, getting access to a lot of clients in other markets as well. In terms of niching down my offerings, I actually, uh, so I used to do uh, a lot of work around helping new companies launch. And it was really uh, fun for me to do those projects for a while. But what I realized is, uh, like I said, I was wearing too many different hats because I was doing their PR and their Facebook ads and all of that. And I realized that I don't necessarily want to be doing that uh, just because it makes me less efficient and it prevents me from taking on more clients. So I wanted to focus on more discrete projects. I'm um, transitioning over to helping companies with um, coffee that helps them sell. So whether it's like their website, which helps them get more clients and consultations, or it's their uh, sales decks or brochures or materials, which basically help them sell themselves more efficiently. So that's what I'm moving towards right now. I'm still in the process of doing it, but it's going really well. And my rate has increased as a result. And when, my, when I speak to my clients, I close the deals a lot faster because I'm really able to show them the value of what I'm offering. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, now you don't have to give like you know some sp like super specific numbers, but um, what, these these new referral partnerships and the clients that are bringing in, um, you know, w with with what you are comfortable sharing, um, like what are what are some of the the numbers that you're seeing? What are your 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 finances looking like as you're able to implement these strategies and you're actually able to do in your career what you want to be able to be doing? Right. Yeah. No. They're they're going really well. So. Uh, I would say definitely multiple five figures. So upwards nice. of like, yeah, upwards of fifteen twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh, uh, so it's beautiful. it's great. Yeah, it's uh, really great. And I, like I said, I've also increased my pricing because earlier when I used to do websites, I used to do them for about three thousand dollars. And now I've raised my rates and I'm charging upwards of five thousand dollars. But I don't actually mention my hours at all. Mm. So um, if they're just a package, and I've just made sure that the package is so attractive and so uh, effective for them that as soon as they see it the number is really a no-brainer and how much time I'm spending on it is really a no-brainer because they are buying the results more than they're buying me working for X number of hours. Exactly. That is yeah. that is the guiding principle in Module 3. Do not charge by the hour. Now, you can calculate your hourly <laughs> rate internally, but don't yeah. go out there saying, I, I, you know, you, you, can, you can rent my life for X number of dollars per hour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. That totally makes sense. Cool, cool. So Satya, can you tell me what you uh, what you enjoyed about the modules, the videos, the lessons, the worksheets, like the, the going through the course itself? How was that a positive experience for you? Uh, I think my favorite part about the course was the fact that you can finish everything in four days. Uh, because a lot of the times what happens is uh, there are modules which are spread over eight weeks and you kind of mm. have to wait for each module to drop. And as a freelancer, I honestly don't have time. I don't yeah. have that much time. I don't want to wait for eight weeks to start seeing results. So I kind of want to see my results from day one. And it's just excellent that I can just rush through all the four, uh, the you know, all the modules in four days and uh, get started getting results. So that was my favorite part about the module, uh, the course itself. Um, the other uh, thing about it was there were really good techniques which I had literally never heard of before. So uh, what you recommend around using Facebook groups where you're clients naturally hang out and using that as a platform to add massive value and then get clients naturally I think that's just brilliant because they are, like when you compare that with going on Upwork or any of these places right uh, when you're just running after clients who want to pay the cheapest fee possible for right. a certain service and they're you're not the only one there are like a million other people who are offering exactly the same service so you become a commodity but when you're in a Facebook community where everybody is, you know, trying to get advice and you're the one who is really adding massive value, firstly, you're the only one there doing it. And then secondly, when these people see that you're really good at what you do, you're not just attracting one client, but you're attracting clients again and again over a 
period of time because const- what ha- ends up happening is even five months from now, if somebody is joining the community and searching for a certain post and they see that your answer comes up, when they see that you're an expert in what you do, they are likely to reach out to you and say, hey, like, can I have a chat or send you a message or whatever, which is just priceless, right? Like it's like right. everything you do, ne- it never goes to waste because you never know who in the future might stumble upon that post. So I think that was just brilliant. I love I think that was my absolute favorite uh, lesson or a technique that I learned <laughs> from the course itself. Um, apart from that, I really thought like creating your own value proposition and creating creating a service that your client really wants is is absolutely genius as well. And I think it's going to be especially useful for a new freelancer because a lot of the times what freelancers end up doing is they just say, oh, I know programming. So I'm now a programmer. No matter what you want me to code, I'll code it for you. But that's never the end benefit, right? When your client is looking for a programmer, they probably are thinking, oh my God, I want somebody who can deliver on time. And I want somebody who get, who's reliable and somebody who understands where I'm coming from and somebody who's going to make me look good. Um, and like, you know, uh, I don't want to be embarrassed in front of my clients if my program falls apart or whatever, right? So if there is somebody who is uh, looking for a service, there are all of these associated benefits or that there are associated solutions to their problems that they're looking for. But a lot of freelancers don't actually communicate that. They just say, I'm a web developer, I know Java, (laughs) that's all that I'm going to do. So I think it's really valuable to craft your value proposition and create a service uh, basically in your customer's language because when you then explain the service in their own language, with they're like holy shit like i need to hire you yesterday like where have you been all my life like that's the place that you get your clients to and that's just amazing so yeah i really enjoyed the modules around creating uh, your own value proposition and the service uh, and the service that people really want uh, and of course the res- referral partnerships was a great idea as well um, i really learned a lot from it and i got uh, and i think it's worked really well for my business too so yeah i think that those would be the top four for me that wonderful, wonderful. So going through all this, where you're, you know, you're getting uh, referral partnerships that are working. You're seeing the really sweet ass five figure projects coming in. What does that do for your confidence? Like when you're going forwards, when you're doing other business pursuits, when you're spending time with, you know, loved ones and family. Like, how how do you feel knowing that you have you have become the go to freelancer of your niche? <laughs> yeah, uh, the I think the less stress is definitely the biggest one. Uh, I, I feel a lot more confident about my uh, offerings and all of that. But, you know, uh, as a freelancer, um, and especially because I've only been a freelancer for a year now, um, the biggest mindset shift from having steady paycheck to going to a free, be a freelancer is that you're not going to get paid at the end of every month a guaranteed amount of money, right? It all depends on what you put in, how much value you're able to deliver, how many clients you're able to close, which is excellent in if you're doing really well, like if you're able to bring in multiple five figures in your business is doing great it's excellent but if your business is not doing so well then it, it is a cause of stress in your life so definitely I think my stress levels have gone down uh, massively and the big reason for that is more clients are coming to me rather than me having to chase after every single client and convincing them to come to me and work with me right because when you especially with referral partners I think that's just so valuable because with referral partners I noticed that I can close deals within one to two meetings like no problem at all yeah. Uh, but with partners who either I chase or who come to me cold, uh, it's just it takes up to five to six meetings. They want to change their mind about stuff. There's just a lot of back and forth, which is not necessarily right. a bad thing. But right. it's just that with referral partners, it's just so much faster. Like closing deals is just a lot faster. And I honestly prefer to work that way because why would I spend like five meetings with someone when I can get the same deal or even a bigger deal uh, in just like one to two meetings? So, yeah, definitely less stress. A lot happier, uh, yeah, able to spend a lot more time with my friends and family and not feel, uh, you know, anxious about not making money and all of that. So, yeah, I I think I've had a lot of benefits for sure. Oh, that is that is so good to hear. It it seems like and and it's like your your career has this big sigh of relief and like, wow, I am I'm making it, you know. Yeah, Um, absolutely. So Satya, what would you say to somebody who's they're checking out becoming the Gucci freelancer? They're like, man, this this thing sounds pretty cool, but I don't know. It's uh, I I I'm not convinced yet. Somebody's sitting on the fence. What would you say to that person? Uh, yeah, this course is hands down the best uh, course around freelancing that I have come across so far. And trust me, I've explored a lot of them. Uh, so I know for sure this is one of the best uh, courses out there. Uh, around becoming a freelancer, the fast, simple, effective way, and also you know making as much money as you think you uh, want or deserve in your business. Uh, and also, I think people can be assured by the fact that you really just need one or two insights to completely turn around your business. And not every technique works for every business or every niche, and that's fine because you really just need 
one to right. two insights to completely revolutionize your business. And there's so many good ideas and so many good insights in the course that no matter where you're at in your business, this course is going to be totally worth your investment and you're going to, your ROI is going to be easily like 10 to 100 times of what you're going to be investing. So it's really a no-brainer. So I, I hope people get off the fence and take this one. <laughs> get off that fence, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So just, just one, last, uh, one last question for you. And you were alluding um, a few moments ago about kind of the experience of, of the course itself. Um, what did you appreciate about the about the attentiveness and responsiveness? Because you know a lot of the courses that are out there, you join and the course creator once once they sell you, it's like they got out of dodge and they're on the beach somewhere sipping virgin martinis. <laughs> so just tell me a little bit about what you what you what you, you know, experience with the responsiveness and just kind of well being there for you. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that's so useful because. No matter where you are in your journey, people, when, especially when you're running your own business, you get a lot of uh, self-doubt, you have questions, you, you want to make sure you're on the right track. And like, yeah, like you were saying, sure. a lot of the times, once a course creator sells you the course, either they become, uh, you know, annoying in the sense that they are already up, they're always berating you for not being good enough, or they're like, oh, you're messing up or whatever, which obviously nobody wants to feel, right? There are a lot of courses out there which kind of do that, or there are people who just disappear and they never answer your questions. Right. You're there all on your own. What I really appreciated this about this course was that whenever I had uh, questions or uh, or I wanted to bounce off my ideas, I could just reach out to you and we were, uh, we would like quick, jump on a quick call or we would uh, go to the Facebook community and like hash it out there, which is so great because I think that kind of one-on-one -on -one attention and responsiveness and just you know being eager to help or somebody who's willing to help is just priceless, right? Like and I think very few course creators are as involved in their courses and as connected to the community as you are, Joshua. So I really, really appreciated that. And I think I got a ton of value out of it. And it just made this whole process um, a lot easier and a lot more fun. So thank you. That was, it was excellent. I really loved going through this course. Awesome. I was so glad to be chatting with you, Sacha. And just thank you very much for, for being here and for, for sharing your experiences. I'm so excited to see where you, you go from just, you know, being this go-to freelancer to really as you are now dominating your niche and you're 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 really living the life that all freelancers all freelancers dream of and it seems like for you in, in a lot of ways it's it's because you've chosen to become the go-to freelancer of your niche yeah thank you so much joshua for creating course and for having me this, this has been great absolutely as always absolutely thank you sacha farewell okay